Kevin and I are currently tied one to one in CSS battles, but it's been over a year since our last battle, and then this happened. Hi there, Kyle. I know you probably don't want to publicly humiliate yourself, but just in case you're up for a little bit of fun, I have recently put out a new CSS battles challenge. That's right, Kevin threw down the gauntlet for another CSS battle, and I had to accept this so I could take my place as the rightful king of CSS battles. Just remember, it's okay if you come in second place. Nice try, Kevin. This is my video and you're going down. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name's Kyle, and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. And today we're going to attempt to beat Kevin at his CSS battle. Now the rules are incredibly simple. All you have to do is create this design on the right hand side here as quickly as possible. Whoever gets it done quicker is the winner, and you can compare the results right here. Now I'm going to show Kevin's actual attempt right down here next to my camera so you can follow along with exactly how he's doing, and I'm also going to put a timer down there as well. So with all that said, let's get started now. So the very first thing I want to do here is I want to get rid of the styling for this base div, and then I essentially want to have a bunch of different keys. I want white keys and black keys. So I'm going to have a bunch of keys. I'm going to call them div class white. Close off that div, and we're going to need to have uh, seven of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And I'm going to put that inside of its own div class equals white keys. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm just going to use Flexbox to lay all this out. So we can come down here, we can say white keys, and we can say display flex. And the gap is going to be some value. Let's just say like five pixels for now. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have white. They're going to have a background of white. And we're going to say width is going to be, I don't know, maybe that's eh, probably bigger than that. 30 pixels. Height is 100%. And let's just give this a background color of black for now. And like a padding of one REM. Okay. Um, so we can see we have that section. Our white keys are not showing up. Um, let me see with height. Oh, the height probably needs to be changed. We can just do align items stretch. I should hopefully make them stretch the full height. It does not. Let's just see if I change this to 30 pixels. Then they do show up. All right, well, we'll just give, we shut to, oh, duh, we have to give this a height. Let's say, whoops. Height is going to be 300 pixels. Nope, that's way too big. 200 pixels, 100 pixels. Maybe we do like, yeah, let's just say 100 pixels for now. And then in our body, oh, we need to have like a wrapper div. We'll call this wrapper. And we're just going to say here, display flex, justify content center, align items center and then um, height 100 vh there we go so it looks like it's a little bit too big so we'll do like 75 pixels and we can get rid of the height on our keys here there we go uh it's not actually centered exactly that's kind of interesting that it's not actually centered so instead of centering it like this we're just going to say Position, ah, we don't even need that. We could just say position absolute top 40, uh, 20%, 30%, 35%. Okay, I just have it too big. Let me see. Let's reduce the height here to 50 pixels. Not quite. So 60 pixels. Still not quite. 65 pixels. That's mostly lined up. Uh, let me see. The top is going to be like 33%. Okay, and then add our height back to 70. There we go. That is the correct size. So now all we need to do is be like padding top is going to be like 1 REM. Uh, okay, let's make it bigger than that. Obviously, like 4 REM. Oops, there we go. Oh, and I need this to be uh, box sizing order box. There we go. Uh, and then our height needs to be changed by quite a bit. So let's do like 100 pixels. 
yeah, that looks like the right size. 100 pixels looks correct. And let's say the left here is going to be 25%. Nope. 10%, 20%. Um, let's do that 33% again. Nope. 30%. Not quite. Maybe it's like a hard-coded pixel value, like 100 pixels. Not quite. 125. Nope. 110. That's really close. We'll do like 112, maybe. Okay, it's really close. Um... And this padding on the top is too big. We'll try like 20 pixels, maybe 40 pixels. Too tall, 30 pixels, still too tall, 25 pixels. There we go, that's perfect. That looks like it lines up exactly. Okay, so we have the top section lined up on everything. The bottom section, the padding is too large. This should be like five pixels maybe. That actually looks correct. So yeah, we'll stick with five pixels padding. Border radius is going to be two pixels. That's probably too small. Five pixels. And let's do the same thing on our keys themselves. That looks mostly correct, I would say. Obviously, it's too large. The width here should be like 10 pixel, 20 pixels. There we go. Those are all lined up. They're a little bit not quite in the right position, but it looks pretty good overall. Looks like our border radius up here needs to be like 10. There you go. And now we can work on the black keys and then get everything positioned in the correct location. So for black keys, I think what I'm going to do is just copy this down. Replace all, whoops. Replace the word white with black. We only need five of these, but I'm actually going to create six and give one of them the class of blank. So our white keys and black keys are gonna be very similar in that they're going to be position absolute. Let's give this a background of red for now and a height of 50 pixels because we want it to be half the size, okay? Let's uh, see. It doesn't show up anywhere. Uh, we need to give it a width 100%. Okay. Uh, what's the width of this? It doesn't have a width, does it? Okay. Interesting. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. We need to get our black keys. So let's just copy this, paste this down. Black, background color, black. Width is going to be, I think they're about the same size. They don't have any border radius on them. So I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, why are they not showing up? Oh, we need our line item stretch up here, display, flex. There we go. Now we have our black keys. We can give it a gap of five, even though the gap is quite a bit larger on these. I want to get this in the right position though, so we'll say top 33%. Uh, let's make it 50%. Nope. 40%. Um, kind of in the right position. It's close enough, maybe. What about 45? Nope. 43. Two, one, okay, there we go, that's good enough. And then our left is going to be, let's do 150, 30. Okay, that actually lines up perfectly with 130. So then we want our blank key to have a background none. Let's get rid of that one right there. And we just need to move this one up. There we go. Get rid of that background color, wherever I put that. And then we just need to reduce the size on our black keys, because they're not quite that big, maybe 15 pixels. That looks pretty good, I would say. And then we just uh, bump our gap up to seven, eight, nine, 10. 10 looks correct. And then our left just needs to get bumped up. There we go. Now they're just too tall, so let's shrink the height of them. So we'll do like 25, 30, 40, 35, 36, 7. 
Okay, now I'm going to submit that. Okay, sorry, the submit button wasn't there. Now it's there, though, so we can click it. We'll see how close we are. We scored a 6.3% match. Oh, come on! Uh, clearly not quite correct. Let's check the diff here. It looks like we're just offset a little bit. We need to move this whole thing a little bit to the left, maybe. So, like, 110, 111, 109. So, I think it maybe 110 looks good. Now we need to move it down a little bit, maybe. 0.2. Three, two, one. That looks pretty spot on. Shoot a bunch of threes. There we go. Okay. Um, and next thing we need to do is move our black keys a little bit. Okay. Well, let's try submitting that. See how close we are now. Seven percent match. I, I know we are more than a 7% match. I'm not sure why it says we're so far. Oh, duh. Uh, background there. Um, our wrapper should be the full width. Meanwhile, submit. Yes. <laughs> 10 minutes, not bad. All right, let's just change this to body. There we go. Now, hopefully, we are at 100% match. 92% match. I'm probably off by, like, a single pixel somewhere. Because I think anything that's white means you're off. Is, I think, how this works? I'm not 100% sure. Oh. Is our, oh, it's our color. Duh. Ah, dang, this isn't black. This is this color. Submit. 94% match. Let me see. Oh, I have another thing that I have set to black. Let me get rid of that. Okay, if I had thought that through, then maybe we'd be a little closer earlier. There we go, 100% match. That's how close I was to beating Kevin. Oh, it's just so frustrating. I ran into all those different color problems at the end, and without those, I maybe would have gotten a little closer. But either way, hats off to you, Kevin. You beat me, and congratulations. Now, if you're interested in seeing the video where Kevin actually tackled this problem and a bunch of other CSS battles, I'm going to link that right over here for you, as well as the very first CSS battle I did with Kevin where we went head to head in three different battles. That's going to be linked right over here as well. With that said, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.